Hey there, and welcome back to another Miraculous Ladybug Season 4 video. And as you all probably know by this point, a few weeks ago we saw the early release of the first half of the Season 4 finale by Spectrum. And in the aftermath of that, we saw an influx of theorising and speculation as to what was going to happen in the second half of that finale, as well as a firm release date by Disney for the second half of the finale for March 12th. And well, surprise surprise, Gloob has joined the battle. Now, as you may know if you're a more hardcore fan, Gloob is a Brazilian pay TV channel that has a track record for releasing episodes before anybody else and unleashing super spoiler filled trailers. So coming off the finale being leaked by another outlet, they must have been pissed. Cause they recently dropped a fresh trailer and have undercut Disney's own release by two days, setting it for March 10th. And first up, God Gloob makes me laugh. I swear they're the pettiest channel I've ever seen, constantly dropping spoilers and airing episodes as soon as another outlet announces their release date. They're really meme worthy, and while some fans seem to dislike their tactics, I honestly think they're so funny. Like this is a company worth, what, millions I presume? At least? Acting like a clout hungry influencer. What is this world that we live in? Anyway though, the trailer, as you may have guessed, was pretty spoilery, and it kind of got me worried. Is this it? It really doesn't look all that impressive. For something that's been built up for so long and given such an ominous title, this doesn't seem like the final attack to me. But of course, at first I thought, well, maybe there's stuff left out. But not really, because insiders have apparently said that this trailer pretty much reveals everything of note, and Asterix was raging hard on Twitter about how trailers are the bane of his existence and you should never watch them ever again. If they hadn't basically spoiled the entire plot of the episode, I doubt he would have been half as upset as all that. So yeah, it looks like that really is it. And this has got me a little bit worried. I mean, let's look at the plot as far as we can see it so far. We have the senti monster rampaging through Paris. Ladybug gives out the miraculouses to the various different heroes, but since they're all pre-programmed by Froggy to take lots and lots of risks, they probably aren't doing a very good job of bringing him down. So Ladybug decides that the best way to save the day is to bring in Adrian, because he wouldn't be infected by the risk stuff I guess. Or at least, that's what I think her motive was. So I'm guessing this is where the Rabbit Miraculous is going to come into play? She uses it to find somebody that isn't infected? Something like that? Anyway, she portals to the train, collects Adrian, who's actually Felix, and gives him the Dog Miraculous, and they return to Paris, which has been devastated by the Senti Monster, and after a battle, you would assume the heroes unite to defeat it. All's well and ends well, and all of that. And then, this is where I'd guess that Felix buggers off with the Dog Miraculous and goes to see old Uncle Gabe to reveal that he, in fact, has swiped it. And I'm guessing that either he's going to offer to team up with Gabe, who really wouldn't have much of a choice but to accept at this point, and thus Felix either gets the Peacock or the Butterfly, but probably the Peacock, or he uses the power of the dog to straight up steal it. And don't get me wrong, I love a good cliffhanger as much as the next man. They can be a great way to ramp up tension and build hype for future episodes or seasons but only when it's a good cliffhanger. Something that's going to draw you in. Something like Gabe's identity being revealed maybe, or him managing to get the ladybug and the cat miraculous together again. Maybe Adrian finding his mum's frozen corpse in his dad's secret garden. Something spicy. Something intriguing. But those things do not look like they're going to happen this episode. Because realistically, how much time can they really devote to setting up a twist like that? Not much, surely. You wouldn't set up this immense senti monster as an incredible threat that's going to burn its way through all the major heroes unless you were going to devote a significant amount of time to sorting it out. And so, this leaves a lot less time for the story to wrap up a whole lot of different plot points that were teased in that first half of the finale. The senti monster reveal, Adrian finding Felix's Spy Kids gadget, which would probably let him get inside Gabe's room, Marinette confessing her feelings to Adrian, Felix and the fake Miraculouses. I just don't think you can do the battle and then have Marinette go and find Felix and then have them fight and most likely defeat the Senti Monster and then have Felix bugger off with the Dog Miraculous and have Ladybug talk to Adrian and figure out she got totally screwed over. And then they need to have Felix talk to Gabe and do whatever they're going to do for that storyline. Like the episodes only go for 20 minutes. How much are they going to possibly be able to pack into it? It's not like they can steal both the ladybug and the cat in that time frame and have it make sense or feel earned. That wouldn't be very satisfying. And I mean, some people think that Felix might have stolen the yo-yo as well using the dog miraculous, but I don't know about that. I suppose it's possible, but surely Ladybug would have noticed that. And yet in the trailer, she needs to be told that Felix is actually the person with the dog and that he's pinched it. Plus, if she just detransformed later on, 
wouldn't it also just disappear too? So there's no loss there. And shit, the more I think about it, the less certain I am that they're even going to lose at all. I know there's a voice clip of Ladybug crying about how they've lost and Gabe celebrating, but now I have a strong suspicion, based on the writing of the show thus far, that this is simply going to be them losing to the Senti monster, her realising they have no chance, Gabe celebrating, and then her using time travel to go get Adrian slash Felix to save the day. Just based on past writing trends, Astrid and Co. love to go through a bunch of crazy game-changing shit and then backpedal immediately using time travel or wiping people's memories or something along those lines. Basically, they like to have the big stakes, but then to wipe the slate clean, so then they can do it all over again, again, and again. The show really just does go at a snail pace, and so whilst I might be dead wrong with all this interpretation, I really think that the only big change we're going to see out of this episode is Felix and Gabe having their chat. Probably Felix blackmailing Gabe with his knowledge of Emily being frozen in the basement, and since now Felix has a miraculous, Gabe can't threaten him as easily. And so, Felix is potentially going to get a fresh miraculous from Gabe, and give back the dog to Ladybug to throw her off the scent, so to speak. And in that way, the title of the finale really is just a play on words. Because yeah, it's Shadow Moth's final attack, but it's not Hawk Moth's final attack, or Mayura, or whatever name Felix chooses if he takes either of those. Because come on, this is not the last of Felix, and it's not the last of Gabe. He has more story to tell. We need to see the dead wife reveal to Adrian. We need to see the senti monster reveal if there's going to be one. And the identity reveals. You just can't feasibly cram all of those in here now. There won't be enough time, and so it's going to go into season 5, where we're going to hopefully get the payoff to all the story threads that have been lingering forever. And it really does feel like a shame that this finale seems like it's going to be going the way of Miracle Queen in not living up to the hype whatsoever. There were so many big expectations on that episode, and it really did underdeliver. And now I feel like history is just repeating itself. Anyway though, those have just been my opinions, and now I'd like to hear yours. What did you think of the trailer? Has it got you hyped? Feeling let down? Or nervous? I'm curious for your thoughts, so make sure to leave a comment and let me know.